What's up guys? I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Just last week, Samsung revealed its Galaxy S24 series smartphones, which in certain markets come with the Korean company's proprietary Exynos 2400 SOC. However, the Exynos 2500 chipset, which will be included in the Galaxy S25 series in a year, has already leaked and, according to reports, the Exynos 2400's 10-core CPU configuration will remain, but the 2500 will use ARM's upcoming CPU cores. Samsung's second generation 3 nanometer process will be used to make it and in terms of area and efficiency, this appears to be superior to TSMC's current 3 nanometer process. One Cortex-X 5 core clocked at 3.2 gigahertz or higher 3 Cortex-730 cores clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, 2.5 gigahertz, two more Cortex-A 730 cores and four efficiency focused Cortex a 520 core cores are reportedly included in the Exynos 2500 CPU. According to rumors, the Cortex-X5 CPU core outperforms Apple's most recent custom CPU core in terms of performance. Therefore, in terms of performance, the Exynos 2500 could be a very interesting chip, and it remains to be seen how efficient it will be. The Exynos 2500 may include AMD's RDNA-based Xclipse 950 GPU, which is an improvement over the Xclipse 950 in the Exynos 2400 and already outperforms the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in ray tracing. After many, many years, the Exynos 2500 with its enhancements may put Exynos back on par with Snapdragon. As the Exynos 2400 appears to be fairly similar to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in benchmark. In addition to that piece of news, Samsung has made a new 45 watt power bank to go alongside its Galaxy S24 series. The 45 watt 20,000 milliamp power bank joins the 25 watt 10,000 milliampere unit which has two USB-C's and is on sale for a while now. The 20,000 milliampere power bank comes in beige and is going to cost £60 in the UK. It has a maximum output of 45 watts when connected to a single device. We can't see the output breakdown to confirm how the three ports will split power output. Talking about the exterior of the 20,000 milliampere quick charge 45 watt power bank. It is made of 20% post-consumer, recycled content, and ships with a USB-C cable. With that update, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.